Try to take off with the guap, they gon' make your body flop. Is you feeling like a savage? Cause I'm feeling like a savage. What up, guys? Welcome back to the Beard Bros. First annual 33 for 33 series. 2022's NFL's season predictions. Please like the video, subscribe, and hit the little bell for notifications. But as well as you know, we've been posting for I don't know how many days now, 20 and some odd days. We only have a few left. I hope you guys have enjoyed. We've enjoyed reading your comments. I mean, I know we were gone for a long time, but I hope if you stick by for a little longer, you're going to be happy with the content that not just that we're putting out now, but we're going to be putting out for a while. Like we're back pretty much. I mean, if this doesn't show we're back, I don't know what shows you're back. If you don't respect 20 plus videos up until now, plus there's what, eight more, nine more almost videos left. Come on, man. So like that video, please. Today we have the New York Jets. Um, probably not a favorite right now. Nah, <laughs> Especially not really. with Zach Wilson being hurt and probably out for a while. And then Joe Flacco taking over. That may be a good thing. Maybe, yeah, you're right. You never know what you get out of Joe. So Michael Carter, Elijah Moore, you know. They drafted that dude, Bryce Hall. Bryce Hall? The fight? The the YouTuber? No, I think his name is Bryce Hall. Like, oh. for real, he's a running back. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, I mean, if you're a Jets fan, I'm sorry. sorry for you, but at least smash that like button. Let us know what you guys think as far as what you guys predicted for the Jets record. Uh, we're always interested in seeing those. So uh, let's just dive right into this. Dive right in. First game. They are home for the Baltimore Ravens, a team we've done before. Yeah, and I had them losing this game. I mean, I'm not going to go too deep because I've already talked about both these teams, but the Jets are young. I think they're in a rebuild in the sense of they still have a lot to think about as quarterback. They are getting good pieces on the offensive side, though, like you mentioned, all those guys. I think even Corey Davis that used to play for the Titans still plays with them. So they got decent pieces. It's just a matter of that one piece. Mm -hmm. Like if they would have traded for Russell Wilson, I wouldn't no. say they're playoff like contenders, but they'd probably be playoff potential. Like, borderline right on the crisp. Bro, they got some pieces. They got no defense, though. But he didn't have a defense in Seattle, either, for the last, like, four years. But he didn't make the playoffs. Like one, Only year he's never made it was last year. It was the only oh. year he never made it. He's never oh. even had a losing record prior to last year. Oh, but nice. nonetheless, that's not what happened. I'm just saying they need a guy. I don't know, because Zach Wilson's only a two-year pro. We have two in there already, third year. And he hasn't made the playoffs. Either no. has Herbert, though. But that's the thing. I'm when saying, I, you can't when just I get rid of young guys. guys. I grade them off of what they've shown me. Like like I said, even Trevor Lawrence has shown me, like, highlights of that's who he is. Basically, they call it a ceiling. You have a ceiling, and there's, like, Dak, I think, has hit his ceiling. There's no, like... Oh, he's going to go over the ceiling. Like, Patrick Mahomes was in playoff games his first few years. And he did sit behind, you know, uh, Alex, Alex Smith. So he learned a little bit, but he was getting to be a quarterback in those moments. And now he's, he's, his ceiling is very high. Like, he might even still have room for his ceiling. Mm -hmm. Compared to, like, Zach Wilson hasn't shown me anything. Like, it's even, like, Tua, he hasn't shown me, like, Oh, he, he, his ceiling could be like if there's flashes. Like, if he, this is probably to his best chance of being good. And then Zach Wilson may, we've, he, like you said, he's still young, but I don't know if there's, you yeah. can't get rid of him already, though. You already drafted him third pick, fourth pick, whatever it was. I don't know. At that I'm point, so you might as well to draft, you should, might as well just draft somebody else if you didn't. Not yet. Like, no, you should have just drafted somebody else if you didn't think Zach Wilson was the guy. I don't know. Why I waste the draft pick at that point? Or trade for somebody. Well, no, I'm saying w before even getting Zach Wilson, you might as well just got a positional player instead of going with Zach Wilson. But, no, I don't think that they thought that. I nobody, still don't think, don't think the they thing, thought that. Nobody, like, in the draft, 
Nobody knows who's going to be good. It's not like well, it's you're like, like there and you're like, It's oh, like yeah, if Mac Jones good. plays bad this year, they're not going to be like, oh, we need a new quarterback. So think of it this way, though. Since, and this is, I've said this already. Or have I? Yeah, about the New England Patriots. I already said Bill Belichick at the end of the year is either going to be let go, fired, or he's going to be on the hot seat. And it's because I forgot he had a season with Cam Newton. Was the season Tom Brady won? Didn't win anything. Then he played with Mac Jones and he did get to the playoffs. But now all I hear is like bad from New England's camp. Like they're not good. They've had yeah. their worst practices. I mean, obviously it's just hearsay. Like until the season starts, we'll know. I'm the same way with the Jets. Like I don't know. I don't. To me, I don't. I don't see Zach being like a top ten guy. I don't even. I think Dak's better than Zach, and I don't think Dak's a top ten guy. We well, didn't think Trevor Lawrence was going to be good his first year. Well, he wasn't good in the sense of record wise, but again, he's got a cannon. He's got. Well, accuracy. we've seen it before. Like they're going to probably keep him for like six years. Like uh, Zach Wilson. I don't think so. Because you've seen Josh Rosen. You've seen uh, who's the other dude that used to be in Houston before Deshaun. Uh, you see okay, but all these the guys that way. stayed so think long in the there's... teams that have good quarterbacks. Okay. There's like probably 20 teams with decently good quarterbacks yeah. that could win you games. And then there's about a dozen other teams that their guys don't win games, nor do they even put the stats up. Like Daniel Jones is a good example. Mark Sanchez is a good example. Yeah, but Mark Sanchez wasn't good. But his defense and his coaching was really good. Like, so then that's Tua. We'll see because they just got rid of Flores. Like, that was pre-Flores, or that was present Flores. Now we're post-Flores, and Flores is a defensive guy, which that defense was good. We'll see if that defense is any good. Like, I mean, they have the personnel. I was going to say, yeah, Xavier Howard. But they got it's one thing. It's like Bill Byron Belichick. Jones. Would you trust Bill Belichick to call, call offense? That's what he's doing I, right now. I mean, he's been there. He's won six championships, okay, seven championships. Did you know he has a losing record outside of Tom Brady? That's fine. What do you mean that's fine? He's only played two, what, a couple no, of seasons? No, prior to, prior to Tom Brady, he used to be the coach of the Browns, and he used to oh, be the coach of the Jets, or the Giants. You're telling me but the Bill Browns? Marcel's won a Super Bowl with them, with w- the Giants? With the Browns? So you're telling me that every coach with the Browns has a losing record. Kitchens does it right now. Kitchens yeah, this year he's about to have a losing re- season. No, not losing season, losing record. record yes, overall. every season he's coached that Without team. Without Tom Brady, he's had a losing record. You give so you're you, telling me the, the last Browns three seasons. He had a winning season last year. So. Okay, but the last three seasons he still had a losing record outside of Tom Brady. They only won ten games last year. That's only three games over 500, and then the last, the two seasons before, or the season before, he was, I don't remember what the fuck they were, like seven and something. But Bledsoe was good with them. But they didn't do anything. They never won a Super Bowl. The year that they were, pro, like, promised the Super Bowl pretty much was the year that Bledsoe got hurt and Tommy took over. But it's like, you can't say for, he couldn't have a winning season when you didn't give him a team to win. Giants. But what I'm when did he coach is, the Giants? Okay, so do you think draft picks matter? No, not really. So how do you get players if they're not drafted? Look at the Rams. Yeah, but they're 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 doing it a way no one's done it. Like nobody's done it that way. Yeah, they're doing they don't it care the, about draft picks. They're doing the that, warrior thing. That's what I'm saying. It don't matter. Like, well, you, actually, not even because if you do it, if you do what the Rams do, it's better. Like you getting players that are good already. Right. So that's why I don't think draft picks are valuable, really. Because you could get Trevor Lawrence, but you're on the Jags with DJ Chark. But you have to remember not everybody has the same cap either. Like, the Rams have a higher cap because of the owners they have. The owners buy players. I know that sounds weird, but that's how they get players. But that's so what I'm like saying. Green Bay doesn't have an owner. So Green Bay can't get players like the Rams do. That's why Aaron Rodgers has such a problem there. Because he can't be like, hey, go get me Odell. Well, well the, we don't have the... Well, then it just, matter, just depends on the, the team. Like, if the Cowboys, the Cowboys, the, cap, the, the picks don't matter. We suck at picking anyways. Unless we get linemen, we suck. Okay. So, Rams don't need them. 
Uh, who else has a big market? Maybe the Giants. They need them. But they got a big market. I don't know why they don't buy players. It's just they suck at picking the personnel. They bring in bad people. And That's what just, I'm saying. Like, it, I guess it just depends. To me, the thing is, is if the games don't matter, then what does matter? Well, you're looking at it like the teams is ass for Bill Belichick. The teams were ass. Browns has never been good. They've only okay, had two but seasons. If you're a good coach. You <sighs> should be able to turn around anything. Like if if Bill Belichick went to it the Jags with Trevor Lawrence, you think they'd be good? Didn't Brian Flores coach fucking the Texans prior to going to the fucking no, Dolphins? The only people I know you're thinking of black coaches. Lovey Smith used to coach the, the Texans. Jo- the Bears, too, right? And the Bears prior, and he went to the Super Bowl with Erlacher, with Grossman at the quarterback. But they had a good wideouts. And tell me this, out of, like, because Colin Coward mentions this, and we're kind of making this too long. But tell me, like, the Bears, who's their best quarterback of all time? Cutler. And is that saying much? Well, no, they should have just traded their but first round I'm pick for is, somebody else. The Bears live so far in the past of this hardcore, tough mentality. Mm-hmm. They don't know how to adapt to get like Justin Fields some weapons right now because he ain't got nobody. Yeah, he got some money. Okay. That's it. My thing is, is it's going to go back to that coach. Like the coach has to be the middleman between the players and the owner. Like, yo, bro, I need this. If they don't go ask that, then that's on the coach. Like that's not a player thing. He, Justin Fields can't be like, hey, go get me Odell. Well, then, uh, he could suggest it. He could tweet it. He could put it on Instagram, them hanging out and throwing passes. But the only person that could say something is like the coach saying, hey. Because the coach ultimately says, hey, that guy sucks. We need to cut him. But then then that just goes back to Zach Wilson. Like, it's not his fault the coaching sucks then. But Robert Sala is not a bad coach. How do we know that? He has he's losing records. That his draft picks have been nothing but – Offense recently. He even drafted another running back this year after drafting what's his name from last year, Michael, Michael Carter. Carter. He was promising. Mm-hmm. He's not like super sick. Yeah, he's probably a but top like young. twenty player okay. yeah, or wide, uh, running, running back. back. Yeah. Then they go get another running back that everyone's already high on in like fantasy wise. Okay. And then they went and got Elijah Moore. They signed Corey Davis. They're giving him weapons. To sh- it's like Tua right now. They're like, hey, we're gonna give you everything you need. Now, if you can't get it done, bro. It's a you problem. It's a you're the problem because I know if I bring in Kirk Cousins, he's not the best. But you and I and a lot of people are high on Minnesota right now because of the weapons they have and Kirk Cousins being at least competent enough to get them the ball. But even when he was with the uh, Washington, he only made the playoffs like once or twice. Yeah, but he was he didn't have the best offense either. He had like an old Vernon Davis. He had. I don't even know who their wide receivers were. But, like, Corey Davis isn't young. He's, like, 30-something. Nobody's a veteran, which you have so, Young and Elijah Moore. And then I forget who that other guy is that they have at wideout. There's that's what I'm saying. That's why that, we're, like, saying Zach Wilson isn't good. I'm not saying he's not. Because like, he could be good. He's not Dak. And he's not. He's not Burrow. Well, he's not. If he's not Dak, he ain't, bro. What I'm saying is. I thought you were putting Dak as the bottom. That's why. Like, Dak's like <laughs> average. Okay. He's like going to win you some games. He's going to lose you some games. It's like this Dak's going to beat the bad teams really bad. And then he's going to lose to the really good teams really bad. And then all the teams in the middle, they're 50 50 games. Like, if we verse, like, um, Indianapolis. The Eagles, because they're in our division. They're not an elite team, probably by no means. They're middle of the pack. But when we verse the Eagles, it's going to be a close game. They could win, we could win. Who knows? Yeah. But if we verse, like, the Jags, we're probably going to beat them pretty bad. Probably have a couple touchdowns, whatever. But if we verse, like, the Chiefs, we're probably going to get whooped on. It might be close at the end, but if you look at the game, at like, from the start to finish, it's be like, damn, Dallas wasn't even in it until the end after they scored two touchdowns, got an onside kick, and almost kicked a game tying field goal. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's how I see Zach right now is he could win maybe games, but majority is probably going to be losses. I, I think it's just the situation. The Jags, the Browns, like those teams are just ass unless you absolutely get players like how the Browns have got players in the last like four or five seasons. But that's also to do with ownership. Like that's the thing, though. You have to understand coaches get uh, – they get evaluated by their wins. 
if you're not winning, then what are you doing? Like, but, you're, but obviously the, your scheme doesn't work here. But, but we also know that people just get hired – just because the, there's open position, somebody got to get hired. I understand that, but then it's, it's they just do it's just a, it's just a lose lose suck, situation though. sometimes. But that's what I'm saying is if they don't do something, then that's just an equivalent to well, they're not that good. But if Bill Belichick coached the Browns for the whole his whole career, people were like, oh, he sucked. Yeah, probably if he didn't do something there. But now we think he's good because he coached we Brady. Think, but the thing is, is port, post Brady right now. Now we're he's looking at Bruce making... Arians as a good coach. No, he's already upstairs. He has nothing to do with Tom Brady no more. Tom Brady moved him to upstairs, and that was a compromise. But that's what I'm saying. Everybody was like, oh, Bruce Arians good. Right and now, then the now coaches look. I think that are good. There's only Kyle two. Kyle Shanahan, Sean McVay. Yeah, there's only two. I think that's – I don't know who the Bills coach is, but – I'd probably oh, say – Oh, fucking hardball. We're John fucking, Harbaugh is yeah, good. Yeah, never mind. There's like uh, three. McDermott is the Bills coach. Yeah, he's good for. And then uh, the dude uh, that coaches the Bengals, he looks promising. Oh, I don't know him that well, uh, yeah. He's, he, sound, he, he has like a linebacker name. It's funny. I but like Vrabel too, Loki. He's not bad. I like Vrabel. Okay. We're going way off the tangent. Okay, but. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, this won't speed it up now. Who would you have as the Ravens? Uh, loss. Ravens winning. Okay, then they go to Cleveland the versus Cleveland. Who did you have? Cleveland. I also had Cleveland winning. Uh, Cincinnati. I had them beating the Jets, too. Okay, team we haven't done. Hold on, you didn't say. Oh, uh, I had Cincinnati lose, uh, winning. Okay, so, okay. Then uh, they go to, to Pittsburgh. A team we're doing eventually a couple. Oh, of- here in the next couple of days we'll have Pittsburgh. I have the Jets winning this game. No, you don't. Yeah, I do. I have the You're Jets stupid. winning this game against Pittsburgh. This one doesn't like the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's I don't, but I also don't think Jets are going to go 0-16. 17. 17. And well, it's one of the games I don't think they're going to lose. Well, they lose on my screen. <laughs> okay, then. Then they go to – or they go home to play Miami. And Miami is just a better team. We've talked about this, and I just think Miami, even with Tua, this is a better team than the Jets. Okay, I have Miami winning as well. Have we done Miami? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, then they go to Green Bay to play the Packers. Okay, we've done this one. I had them losing to the Packers. I had them losing to the Packers as well. Okay. And then they go to Denver to play the Broncos. As you guys know, I'm high on Denver, and this is a game that they win. I also have Denver winning. Okay. Then they come home to play the New England Patriots, the one we ranted about for five minutes. And they get another win at home against New England. So they beat the Pittsburgh Steelers, a potential playoff team. I didn't say that. I mean, it, a lot of people have them potential. I'm not saying we do. I don't. Like, whoever's out there say Pittsburgh potential, smoking crack. Because Mike Tomlin. Oh, we forgot to say Mike Tomlin. He's a pretty good coach, too. Exactly. There's coaches out there. Like, even him. They did not make the playoffs last year. But... Am I sitting here saying he's not going to turn it around? No. Bill Belichick, I'm questioning. Why? It's just because I'm thinking Tom Brady makes up a lot of slack. Like Tom Brady, we, well, no we one see can it. deny how good Tom Brady we is. We see it. Look at, look at Tampa Bay. They were exactly. ass with Winston. So what I'm saying is, and I get it, it's only been three years, but you've brought in a guy, Cam Newton. Say what you want. He was on the back end of his career, but whatever. You got to draft a guy. You could have moved up and got someone else, but you actually moved back and got Mac, and then now you're stuck with him, and we'll see what you do in two years. That's true. Okay, so I had him winning this game against the Patriots. What did you have? Losing to the Patriots. Okay. Then they go home to play the Buffalo Bills. I have them losing this game. I have them also losing to Buffalo. So after nine games, what do you have them? Oh, and nine. Two and seven. You're, okay. You're crazy. Then they play the New England Patriots again at After New England. their bye week. And they lose this game. Yeah, they definitely lose this game. Yes. I don't know why you gave them a win earlier. I just think they're going to split it with New England. And you think we're going to e- be sitting here thinking, well, is Zach Wilson better than Mac Jones? They were drafted in the same class. No. As long as I'm fighting for Zach Wilson, I don't know about we're that We're going to mark these on the calendar. I want to see New England week eight. Okay. Okay. Chicago. They play them. At home. We did this game, and I had them losing to Chicago. Also had them losing to Chicago. <laughs> then they play Minnesota. 
At Minnesota. And I had them losing this game. Damn fool! Oh wait, you said losing this game. I thought you meant Minnesota. I was like, damn, they fucking beat no. all the good, they beat all the good teams. Heck no, uh, they're not beating no good teams yet. Not to me. Shit, uh, they lose to Minnesota on my screen. Okay. Then they play Buffalo at home or at Buffalo. They get swept for the series against Buffalo. Agreed. They definitely lose that game. Okay. They play Detroit, a tough one. I mean, tough for them. I mean, Detroit's gonna win this game. I had Detroit winning, too. Okay. okay. So then a Thursday night game versus Jacksonville. I just like Trevor Lawrence. I think he's going to be good. I don't think – I, as you guys know, if you haven't, go back and watch Jacksonville's – I don't even think we got any views on that one yet. <laughs> but go watch it and see what I got as a – but this is one game, I'll give you a hit, that I had the Jags winning. So Jets lose this game. Jets definitely lose this game. Okay, so then they go play the Seattle Seahawks at Seattle. <laughs> okay, I have them losing this game. I have them winning this game against Seattle. So they get a win two weeks before the season. A little hype, a little hype. Yeah, that's fair. Then they play Miami at home. And they get swept. Yeah, they get swept. Okay. Okay, so we went pretty fast there, but nonetheless, you have them at 1-16. <laughs> Two wins was against Steelers and, pa- and Patriots. And I just think they're going to split with the Patriots no matter what. Maybe the Steelers is a bit of a reach, but maybe they steal the Seattle game, Jags game, Detroit game, Chicago game. They could steal any of those games. They Other go un- than that, they go undefeated. No, there's no <laughs> chance. They got a tough schedule. They are Fa- facing the NFC North and then facing the yeah. NFC North. So AFC and NFC North. Okay. So those are two. I don't think the NFC North is too hard, except Green Bay and Minnesota. But I am high on Detroit. Not like extremely high, but I think they're better than this team. Agreed. Well, I mean, you guys got content when I didn't think there would be content for this team, to be honest. I didn't think so, but what are your thoughts on Zach Wilson? Do you like him? Is he good? Do you think he's got a higher ceiling? I think he's good. I think. I don't know what they need, man. They need something. They need like a like a Mari or somebody, somebody that's already established as a damn good like. But Elijah Josh Moore Allen, good, dude. Josh Allen wasn't that good until he really got Stephon Diggs. He became a superstar once he got Stephon Diggs. So you're saying like, what if they sign Odell? I would be like, okay, you got Odell Beckham, one of the best route runners, one of the best hands, one of the best upside verticals. If you can't get this guy the ball and you can't win, you can't, like, even if you lose close games, but you're, you're like, not like how Cowboys lose close games, yeah. but you lose close games because you can't just finish a, a game. I'm like, all right, you're kind of good. That's you what know? I'm saying, though. If he goes out and slings it and he's throwing 63% completion rates, He's throwing 225 plus yards. He's averaging at least like a two to one ratio when it comes to pick to interceptions. Um, and they're competitive, even if they're losing by six, seven points a game. Yeah, even 10 at that. Like, yes. yeah, it's like. I'm okay with that because then I can sit there and say, okay, he's good. You just need to build maybe the defense. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you have these such young receivers going against such veteran corners but in this the league. The thing is, is I watch Trevor Lawrence. And I see him, and I'm like, that guy got it. He's got it. If they put enough around him, plus with the Urban Meyer stuff and Tim Tebow stuff last year, put that aside, mm-hmm. and now they get this culture going. Yeah, bro, that might. But be Joe it. Burrow wasn't as good as we expected him year two. You know, but he got hurt the first year. Remember, late though, it was like week 11, 12. But still, he was still hurt. But he wasn't like we were like, dude, Joe Burrow, like yo, at and Joe that's Burrow's why I'm still crazy. not even high on. That's Joe what I'm Burrow. saying. We're like, like, we're I'm at eight and nine. Joe Burrow healthy with his squad healthy right now. That's what I'm saying. Like we're not giving enough credit to like or not. We're just downplaying Zach Wilson because he don't have guys like Jamar Chase, like Justin Jefferson, like. But it's I don't know if you trust a guy like Devontae Smith. Like, do we think Jalen Hurts is really good? No, I don't think Jalen Hurts think is really good. Could be. So can that, Zach Wilson? If we had like, those guys like on his this team. This is the thing. Out of all the teams in the league, like these are the guys I have personally on my chopping block. Mac Jones, Tua, Zach Wilson, Baker, um, who 
Who else am I thinking of? Kyler Murray. Jalen Hurts. Uh, Daniel Jones has got Carson Wentz. Yeah, Wentz is probably out of the league if you don't get shit, his shit together. Uh, who else am I trying to think of? Saints. Mm, they don't have nobody. But those are probably at least a few teams that I can think of off just the top of my head that you don't get it done, I'm done with you. Like, if I'm the owner or I'm the coach or whoever I got to be to mm-hmm. call that shot, I'm saying you're done. I've given you enough time. Like, Zach Wilson, I know he's only in the second year, but now his availability is in question. His He's already been in question because he hasn't produced. Tua, if he goes and gets hurt or he doesn't produce, I'm like, bro, what do you want? Like, what else do you want? I'm giving you two fast guys, five running backs, lines decent, defense is stacked. Like, if your defense is giving up 30 points a game, that's not a you thing. That's a defense thing. I can accept that if you're putting up 20-plus points a game and you're still losing. I can say, oh, well, he's putting up 21 points a game. He's just losing 30 to 21 because defense can't stop nobody. That's different. But it's like, Dak, you have all the weapons. You have five wide receivers, two tight ends, two running backs, decent offensive line, and your defense is getting you the ball probably two or three extra times a game? And you can only score 16 points against the Niners in the playoffs? That's a you problem, bro. That's not a team problem, a coach problem. That's nothing. You've had the possessions. you got to make it happen. So those are the guys with me right now. It's just like you got to get it. Like Justin Fields, I kind of give him a pass because they ain't giving it. Like, bro, he ain't got nobody. He ain't got, he ain't got no Elijah Moore. He ain't got two running backs. He but ain't he, got a he, does, he does have Mooney. One guy? And coughed. The Who tight end. That? Oh, No. So you're telling me Elijah Moore is this enough to He's test? He's elusive. Corey Davis is a veteran, and he's got two young running backs right now. That's more. He don't have Montgomery. Is decent, but he's small. And Tyree Cohen is already hurt. And then the tight end, I don't even know who that guy is. And then I don't even know who their other wide receivers are. That's what I'm saying, but you can't give him a pass. Zach Wilson didn't get a pass last year. But the... Neither one of them got a pass. But you're but we're already trying Fields to throw him like down the fucking drain. Plays. Well, he has to. He ain't got no one else to throw it to. But then why isn't Z- Zach Wilson? Because he's not as fast as Justin Fields. Come on now. Yeah, I see that. He runs five steps outside the bucket and pulls his hamstring. That's what I'm saying. You can't compare the two like that. What are your thoughts? What do you guys think of Zach Wilson compared to the rest of the league? At least the young guys, for sure. That's what I'm saying. Like, between him and Mac Jones, Justin Fields, Trevor Lawrence, like, out of those four quarterbacks, who are you taking? If you could pick them at any order, I'm who are you pi- taking number one? Who is the – who out of those five? Four. Four? Because I, I don't you know. You said Mac one. Jones, Trevor Lawrence, Zach Wilson, and who? Uh, Justin Fields, because I think they all came out. Oh, and Trey Lance, but I exclude him. His team's too good. Because he hasn't played. His team's well, too good. Well, he hasn't even played. We don't even know what he looks like. He don't, I don't even care. His team's too good. But he might suck. There's no way you suck with that team. I don't know. Either way, he's excluded because we haven't watched him. Um, I'm going Lawrence because I think he's fast. He ha- He's tall. He has the arm. Okay. I'm going Mac Jones because he showed it last year. He could actually lead a team. Okay. Zach Wilson and Justin Fields. You're putting Fields last. Yeah. I think he's I think he's looked at because he could actually make plays with his feet that we're just like, yo, this fool's fucking sick. But isn't that he's like, like Jalen Hurts though? I think he's Jalen Hurts. Like a Lamar Jackson. No, he's Lamar could sling it though. Lamar could sling Fields. Who's so, he gonna sling it to though? So that's what I'm basing off too because he don't have no one to throw it to. No, what I'm saying is if you could get one of those guys and plug them in, in any system. Oh, then I'm going probably Mac Jones last. Okay, and then Zach Wilson or Justin Fields? Oh, uh, probably still Zach Wilson. So you have Wilson second, and uh, then Fields and Mac. Oh, uh, maybe Fields second. Actually, Fields second. Because if you put Fields on like Gre- like, let's see who you could put him on. Like Minnesota, Say you put him on uh, Chargers. Oh, he's going crazy. RPO with a- Eckler and the, that guy. That's what I'm saying. If I put Zach Wilson on the Chargers, I still think he gets good numbers because but see, even you said good numbers, but not like. But but it's easy with that team because like you could put like anybody really in yeah, that team. Yeah, but the difference is is if you put like Justin Herbert with Justin Jefferson, Thielen, and Cook. But you what's put happening? but you put Herbert over there with Elijah Moore, and that's it. They're winning games potentially. They're probably splitting with New England, maybe Miami, 
Like, let's pretend. If I had Herbert on this team, they're beating the Browns. They're probably maybe beating the Bengals. They're definitely beating the Steelers. I'll say they lose to Miami both times. Maybe they beat Green Bay. They lose to Denver. They split with New England. Maybe even sweep them. They they lose both games to Josh Allen. Okay? They beat Chicago. They beat Detroit. They beat probably Jacksonville and Seattle. That's probably... Justin Herbert by himself probably gives them four to five more just wins. I don't think so. So you don't think he goes and beats Seattle, Jags, Detroit, Chicago, probably New England once, Steelers, and Browns? Steelers probably not because that line's not going to hold up against that defense. Okay, so then who? what about the Browns? No, that defense again. So, But the other five teams. I could, I could so see So you that. gave them one win with potentially Zach Wilson and... And then you're giving five wins total. That's only four more wins. But that's four just with one guy. One really good guy. But it's like You I have to but, see the difference. But if he started with the Jets, I don't know if we'd probably be saying the same thing about him, bro. About but Herbert. Like uh, not if because he, because he, he had Keenan Allen to the playoffs yet. But he had Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, uh, Hunter Henry when he had him, Eckler out of the backfield. Defense up the ass. Like, he got the best defense. Now def- he has everything. Yeah. Now, with him, it's like no excuses. If you can't make it. If he doesn't make the playoff this year, I'm then what are we going to say? i in him, too. Like, I'm going to put him on that. You're good, but you don't have that, like, what is it called when, like, you're, like, that instinct, like that. Uh, the winner. That it factor. Yeah. You're not that. You you can't turn up. Like, you can win games. You're going to beat the good. T- he's a deck. I call him a deck. If he don't make the playoffs this year, he's a deck. And it's not disrespect to him because I love Herbert. But if you don't make the playoffs, bro, even as a wild card, I don't care if you're number seven, you have to make the playoffs this year. There's no more excuses. Yeah, this team's too stacked. It's too stacked. I know your division's good, but you're playing another 11 games outside of your division. If you don't win half of those and split half with your division, that probably gets you in the playoffs. Yeah. I just look at it that way. Like, the Jets are hard to – to compare, like, the quarterbacks are ass sometimes, but... No, they are. But it's, like, hard when you don't have people, like... But, well, even when Mark Sanchez was, had fucking Brandon Marshall, it was, like... They yeah. weren't bad. They were making yeah. championships. They made back-to-back AFC championships. That's what I'm saying. It's, like, they're, they're decent, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I'm already over the Jets. I'm ready to move on to Philly. Hope you guys enjoyed this lengthy one. I don't even... We're probably 20 deep. 32. 32 deep with the Jets. Who would have seen that coming? That's the most minutes they're going to get all season. <laughs> That's more than their possession first week. Yes. Possession so, time first week, they're less than 32. <laughs> bro, well, there's only 60 minutes in a game. So they're definitely they're not, not get, getting 32 minutes. This is longer than their first game possession time. Probably. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was funner to do it this way than to pick their game. Though, for sure. Facts. <laughs> So make sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell. Till next time with the Beer Bros. Peace. I got your back, Zach Wilson.